Welcome to another Ziva math video. In this video, we're going to practice dividing fractions. Before we get to some examples, let's take a quick look at the steps. First, we will need to leave the first fraction in the problem exactly the same, no matter what it is. Then we will change the division sign to multiplication. We will use the reciprocal of the second fraction, and once we have our problem set up as a multiplication problem, we'll multiply numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator, just like we did when multiplying fractions. Let's take a look at some examples. For our first problem, we have 2 sevenths divided by 3 eighths, and we're going to walk through this problem showing all of our steps and all of our work. So our first step is to look at the first fraction, the 2 sevenths, and 2 sevenths is going to stay exactly how it is. You're going to write it exactly how it is, no matter what this first fraction is. So as we show our work, we have 2 sevenths. The next thing that we're looking at is the division sign, and we're going to change that division sign to multiplication. Then we're going to look at the second fraction, the 3 eighths, and we're going to be multiplying by the reciprocal. And that means that our denominator becomes the numerator, the numerator becomes the denominator. Basically, we're flipping it over. So we're going to be multiplying by 8 thirds. Now that we have a multiplication problem set up, we're going to follow the steps for multiplying fractions. So numerator times numerator, 2 times 8 is 16. And then we'll multiply our denominators, 7 times 3 and 7 times 3 is 21. So we get 16 21 and we need to ask ourselves, can we simplify? Well, 16 and 21 don't share any common factors, so our final answer is 16 21 For our second example, we have 5 6 divided by 1 half. And again, walking through our steps and showing all of our work, we're starting with 5 6 that first fraction 5 6 stays exactly the same, 5 6. Then we're looking at the division sign. The division sign we are turning into multiplication. And then we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, which means we're going to look at the 1 half, and we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of 1 half, which is 2 over 1. We're basically flipping that 1 half over. So now we're ready to multiply numerator times numerator. 5 times 2 is 10. Then we're going to be multiplying denominator times denominator. 6 times 1 and 6 times 1 is 6. Now if you can leave your answer as an improper fraction, you can take the 10 6 and just simplify it. For our example though, we're going to turn it into a mixed number. So we're going to take the 10 and we're going to divide it by 6. So the 10 goes on the inside, the 6 on the outside. 10 divided by 6 is 1, 1 times 6 is 6, and when I subtract, I get 4. So when I write 10 6 as a mixed number, my quotient becomes my whole number, so I'll have a whole number of 1, a remainder of 4 becomes the numerator, and the denominator of 6 remains the same. Now I have 4 6, and I can simplify 4 6. 4 and 6 share a common factor of 2, so I need to go ahead and simplify by dividing my numerator by 2 and my denominator by 2. And when I do that, we need to be very careful to remember that whole number 1. It needs to remain as part of our answer. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3 for a final answer as a mixed number of 1 and 2 thirds. Now let's look at 2 thirds divided by 5 ninths. And again, be sure you're showing all of your work and the steps so that you can see exactly what you're multiplying together. So our first step is the 2 thirds. 2 thirds stays exactly the same, exactly how it is 2 thirds. Then our division sign. Our division sign we turn into a multiplication sign. So we're going to have 2 thirds multiplied by the reciprocal. So we have 5 ninths. We're multiplying by the reciprocal, which is 9 fifths. The denominator becomes our numerator. The numerator becomes our denominator in our reciprocal. Then we're ready to multiply. And we're multiplying numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. However, in this example, let's look at the 3 and the 9. 
3 and 9 share a common factor of 3, so I can go ahead and do some simplifying here before I start multiplying. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So now when I go to multiply my numerators, I'm multiplying 2 times 3. And 2 times 3 is 6. And when I multiply my denominators, I'm now looking at the 1 times 5. 1 times 5 is 5, which gives me 6 fifths. If you can leave your answer as an improper fraction, you can't simplify 6 fifths, so you're done. If you know that 6 fifths is equal to 1 and 1 fifth, you don't need to show your steps to turn your 6 fifths into a mixed number. However, if you need to show your steps, the 6 is going to go on the inside. We're going to divide it by 5, numerator divided by the denominator. So 6 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5, and we subtract and we get 1. Our quotient becomes our whole number, a whole number of 1. Our remainder becomes our numerator, and our denominator remains the same for a final answer of 1 and 1 fifth. For our final example, we have 3 fourths divided by 3 tenths. And again, we're going to walk through these steps, looking at our first fraction, the 3 fourths, and 3 fourths needs to stay exactly the way it is, 3 fourths. After leaving our first fraction exactly how it is, we move on to the division sign, and that division sign is going to become a multiplication sign. So changing our division to multiplication, and we're going to be multiplying 3 fourths times the reciprocal of 3 tenths. So our 3 tenths, we need the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 3 tenths is 10 thirds. And then we're ready to multiply. So you can multiply numerator times numerator and then denominator times denominator. But let's go ahead and look at our numbers that we have and see if we can simplify here. So starting with a 3 and the 3, 3 and 3 obviously share a common factor of 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Then we have 4 and 10. 4 and 10 share a common factor of 2, so I can simplify the 4 and the 10 as well. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So now when we go to multiply, numerator times numerator, we have 1 times 5. 1 times 5 is 5. Then our denominator times denominator, 2 times 1, and 2 times 1 is 2. For an improper fraction of 5 halves, if you can leave your answer as an improper fraction, you are finished because 5 halves do not share any common factors. If you can turn 5 halves into a mixed number without showing your division steps, you're welcome to do so. I'm going to go ahead and show all of the steps for us, which means I'm going to take the numerator and divide it by the denominator. 5 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4 and 5 minus 4 is 1. So my mixed number, my quotient becomes my whole number. So I'll have a whole number of 2. My remainder of 1 becomes my numerator, and my denominator of 2 remains the same for a final answer of 2 and a half. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Ziva Math for more videos.